Welcome back to Pikmin 2! Yes. Dragon's got tea and some nips, so we're good to go. Beginu. Okay, so it's day four today. And since we only were recording last night, I remember what we're doing. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Even though I half thought I'd forget, especially after being bamboozled by a fucking moth while putting the bins up. <gasps> it was huge, mind. Like, genuinely big. <laughs> oh good, I didn't get buzz buzz today. <laughs> Anywho, I'm off on my own. Fuck off. Does that mean we're out of tutorial hell? We might be. We might very well be. Okay, so we've got another hole here. <coughs> Astounding! My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? I'll react violently in a minute. If you find trouble below, contact me and press a button on your radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louie, and the Pikmin to safety. Fuck off. Okay, so if I'm in trouble, you will just abandon all hope. Oh. The blue boys! There they are! There they are! Being cute and killing tadpoles. Look there! Wild blue pigmen are chasing prey near the water's edge. Perhaps by observing these wild specimens, we can understand more about their true nature. I mean, maybe? <laughs> Ding! I apologize. I was momentarily entranced by them. Now back to work. That was going really slow compared uh, to normal. Oh! Uh, oh! Ah! I can't get in! Yellows, right? Yeah, I need yellows to break down the electric fence. No! That's so unfair! That's so unfair! Uh, tracking across the universe. I guess then, I'm gonna have to get a team. Aggressive? It's because of this. Get a team and go get it then. Yes. Oi! 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 Stop eating berries! But yeah, so we're gonna be going down that hole then. After you've got the thing. Yes. After you've got the treasure. Yes. 70 is good. Well, what? I can't get that treasure. I literally need- Oh, you need yellows. Yeah. Um... Where did nine of them go? They probably died, I guess. Nine of the ones you've just got out. I got 70. I I thought. You did? Yeah, I got 70, dude. You did? Uh -huh. But then nine of them just disappeared and you only had 61 with you. Oh. I mean, some of them did go over here. Oh, you know. I have food, I have tea, and we're playing the game. 
I'm gonna say so far, I am actually preferring this game to the first at the moment. Understandable. Oh, it's sort of like it's a lot easier to talk while playing this one because there's a bit more going on. <laughs> yeah. guys to come back and then I can at least have Lily hold on to them so then Olimar can go in. They'll come in with you anyway. No they have to be selected so long as they're with one of the captains. Even though Louis not a captain. That's what I mean. If Louis has them. Yeah they'll come along. They'll come in with you anyway. Mm -hmm. Come along! Come along! I at least give the whole, like, sometimes waiting is a bit too much. Mm, understandable. Because as far as we know, Louis doesn't have any meaningful relationship with someone with food. Because mm. Olimar is married. With kids. With kids. So Olimar has a lot more going for him than Louis does. Mm -hmm. Olimar fucks. Quite. The White Flower Garden. This is not a cave, this is a weird. <laughs> this is not a cave, this is a weird. What is, is that the sun? Huh? Oh. Kind Yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of just going, yeah, just take the corpses back. Let me just do a dismiss quickly. But I don't want you, Louie! You suck! There. Ooh, Skippy. I do not know what Skippy is. Yes, it is mine now. I suppose it is. It's like a rusty metal thing. Yeah. what Skippy is. It's Skippy. Nutrient silo. It's like a spread I think. Yeah some sort of spread. Not a submarine. Oh. oh, there we go. Treasure it. Ah, we're fine. It's the. Flame ain't 
Wingbug! Yeah, the flaming wingbug! Sorry, my Ha! It hit Louie. You're so polite. Dude, it hit him! It's Dr. Pepper! Drow tender! What Why is it bouncing? It's jiggling to show you how cool it is. Uh, again, don't like Dr. Pepper. It's like a Pepsi like or a Coke. You've heard it from Dragon, everyone. Oh. Dr. Pepper's better than Coke. Where the flame walls begin. <laughs> I don't know why flames were wanted. Oh. Hello! Just use Bruce back. We found a jewel! We found a jewel! This is a good haul so far. Look at that. It's for you. Aww. Petrified heart. Go. Is that more down? Mm -hmm. Something about these caves is reminding me, though, about something. Something I really didn't like later in the game. It was that rolling thing that was invisible and you couldn't play it. Yeah, I remember screaming a lot at that. I don't want to meet that again. We're gonna. You know we're gonna. Ah, uh, slash it. Let's not meet. I know exactly what you, I know exactly what thing you mean. I can remember that shit. Oh. Hey! Mm. More flowers. Yellow? No. White. White. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. How can you be so annoying? How can I. How can this robot also not be like. Oh, yeah, we've already found one like this. You find the purple ones before this, so. Oh, I know. This robot's just dumb. This place is conspicuously. Oh my god! Conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hot house for foliage? Foliage. Foliage. What an interesting development. The pigmen look as if they look like they're the flower. I want to fucking scream. I was right. Yeah, I missed shot. Look at him! It's you. <laughs> it's me. Cute, tiny, adorable. Poisonous. Yeah. Incredible. A white pigment. It is tiny but looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Our data record on this type is a blank page since a certain captain never documented them. You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. Yes, all. Oh, I wonder what that looks so long. Like I got plugged but nobody wants me. Oh yeah. Okay. Got a ball. They dig! <laughs> They're to be like, oh fuck, fuck! Amazing, the white pigmen have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. P 
perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allow them to sense objects buried in the dirt. Really? We're not out to tutorial how we have to learn about this new type of Pikmin. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It's just tape! You wanna help, guys? Whoa! Right. Disband. Reds. You will carry it back. Okay, one white came along. Fine. Goodbye. Oh, okay, that I was- I apologize for all the wrestling. <coughs> I do apologize for all the wrestling. I was opening my biscuits. That's fine. Because I want to dip my biscuits in my tea. Sorry, British. Fuck off. What? Disappeared and came back. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's tape, alright. Gamma tape. Super stick textile. Yeah. Yeah, no, not wrong. Nectar! Oh, look, they have a change from the new book. Yeah. And you know what? It proved last time, so I'm gonna dive deeper. You don't have to take one. come. See? They're here! Yeah. And there's no enemies that I have to worry about at, at that one, at least. Whee! There's a red! There's Wait. a red! Quite often. Huh? Quite often. I like just looking. It's just did it again. Well, that one bulb has been on its way out for months. Okay. There's nothing here. You know what I mean? And again, it would be going. Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, that, that one. That one bulb has been on the fritz for months. Sometimes it's pink. Sometimes it's normal. It's duller than the other two at the minute. So it's been on its way out for fucking months. Would you like to try a little piece of biscuit? No, thank you. Not at the moment. Well, the reason I ask is because I am dipping biscuits, and as soon as I can't dip biscuits anymore, I'll just be dipping them into the Now's your chance. Well, no, I have to get my Pikmin to grab a mushroom, it seems. Yeah, a mushroom. Alright. We also have uh, this. Nice. Mm -hmm. Get your chokes from my head. Fuck you. Not on the waited. This isn't even the final level yet. No. Usually they're about five, from what I remember. There we go! Absorb the shroom! That's treasure, alright. Look at that. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do with that. Toxic toadstool. 
Hmm. I saw I was gonna do that. I was gonna do this with mushrooms. What? Oh, I had an idea of creating mushroom characters. Oh, okay. I don't know what for, but... Well, there's always something you can use it for. Alright, just gotta wait for them to get back with that tin. <laughs> well, it's almost where you can see the treasure meter. Nearly there! Really? There we go! That's a lovely tin for me. Oh, there's a tin. Herring. Container of Herring's food happen in tomato and creme. Um, <coughs> container of sea bounty. Yeah. So it's a German tin of herring in tomato sauce. Pretty much. Kleine uh, <laughs> Oh, so Schlemmen. Re Look, I, I did learn German in school, but evidently um, I can't say all the words because these were never taught to us. If you want, you can scan that barcode, guys. <laughs> Buy some uh, herrings fillet. Very international. We've had some Japanese things, we've had some things that have English on them, and now we have a German tin of herring. Final level! Look at me funny when I mention the word herring, but I think I can guess why. Defeated that freakish half bird, half serpent hybrid. Oh no, don't tell me. That treasure was ingested by that beast, wasn't it? Yeah. They really want to take that head. Mm. Look at that jiggling of that glove. Just way out. Yep. Eggs. 
I will crack the eggs when I have the rest of my Pikmin. Okay. That way they can all have a nice big drink of nectar. Okay. Here we go, take my glove. Filthy. The five man knapsack. <laughs> this material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Seam test conclusive. Cross stitching successful. The knapsack is complete. When you have an unoccupied time interval, press and hold. Me to take a nap. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! What? Watch. Right, I'm gonna go sleep. So I'm asleep now, yeah? <laughs> Goodbye, Oliver. Goodbye, Louie. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose if you want to get out of it there quickly. Hmm? Oh, someone quickly. Huh? Yeah, the people will just help you. Drink up, guys! Some of them didn't get any. It's a shame. I wonder because some of them already had flowers did. Well, I shouldn't have it. Cakes. Weedy bags. Mm. All right. Most excellent. Because they, I think here's the thing of when you have white Pikmin, always bring them with you because they can dig in the caves. Mm. Purples, it depends. You should maybe take maybe one or five with you, but I don't have that many. Yay! Mm. Yeah, I need yellows to get that down. Yeah, yellows are light. Can't the lights reach? Mm. Have you tried it? So I know it's stupid, but isn't it worth a try? Sorry, I'm making sure it was safe. Oh, that's a poison one as well. Okay, I have some places to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the red's gonna open up. Get some berries! Yes, we we're gonna have to make use of you. Ugh! No. These are not quite high enough. Here we are. Ah, oh, there's another uh, piece of globe there. And a sneaky flower with eyes! Oh. Oh! That's the thing that made me scared last time. Yeah. Number so high. It's buried there! No, oh, no, I missed it. Silly billies. May as well just up the red population while I can. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna have to bring the whites over here as well. I'm detecting stuff in the ground. Mm. Be 
like how they're doing. Slow but slow progress. Yeah. Can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. So I guess I'll just get the The only thing I can do after all the minute is just, you know, what Pikmin while I wait. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yes! Ooh! Okay, Louie's broken that down. The flower with eyes? I'm not fighting them with these guys. No, I believe there's another poison gate over here. Oh, and then that's how I get to this cave up here. But again, I can't get to the cave because I need the yellows. Yeah. But once these guys are finished with the berries... I can go and fight that flower. Mm. There we go, another lot of the spray. Yes, I know! We're busy fighting right now! Fascinating, this object is highly similar to the one you found in the Valley of Repose. Really? By examining this further, I may be able to extrapolate new planetary data. Okay, good, fine. Just fuck off. By the way, I don't say data, I say data. I just say data because it's a fucking computer. Right, I need more guys. Yeah. Oh, this is a water area. Look with this. Can't do anything to take them out. Yeah, no way, Jose. Fuck off, Fred. Oh, good. They're nearly done making the bridge. That's the progress, at least. And they're nearly done breaking this down. That's the bridge done. Ooh. I'm crossing my fingers that I can get that fucking globe in time. Give me all of them. Alright, big boys, let's go. Are you getting the purples out to hurry the globe along? Well, I need 101 to be able to carry them. Come on, guys! So slow. They're so cute. I love how they walk, they just look, 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 look. That's me! There we go. How are 240? I don't know. So slow! Right. What's the hole? Oh, you've done it. Yeah, I did that one. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna get it in. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Put these away. Oh god, hold them up. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. 
like it. Nope, you're not. Oh, what's so irritating? 25 was the other. The Reds by Louis, I think. Hurry up and get them called in. Louis. Oh, they're fine. Oh, yeah, because they're in the safe zone. Yeah, they're in the safe zone and they're with someone. Okay, no, it's just I was like 25 out of 29. What the fuck? Where are the others? That's so annoying. Mm. Yeah. Guess I'll get that fucking globe later. But wasn't there also that area I wanted to dig up as well? It's mm. not too bad, I suppose. Alright. Good amount of money made, at least. So that's something. Populations are still good. Rest in peace to the eight that died today. And we have mail. Oh, it's the wife! Oh! My dearest dear, how are you? Your boss gave me the space email account and told me all about your business trip. Just remember, you have a family to think about. Yeah, I've been trying! Oh, yeah, like, believe me, Oliver wanted to come home to his wife and kids. But then his boss was like, I need you to pay off the debt. Bye! Uh, right. Treasures or Piclopedia first, my dear? Piclopedia. Okie doke. What new treasures have we today? The fairy blow- the f fire fear fire fiery <laughs> fiery the fiery blowhole <laughs> Sustracona <laughs> The blowhole family This creature expels a volatile phosphorus compound from its snout that combusts upon contact with air. This fire breathing ability is dependent upon the air to fuel ratio at its mouth. Catalyst reaction within the expelled compound and the purification of the compound. Thus, it is so... highly unlikely that such a complex process could cause the spontaneous explosion of a fallen blowhole. So, this process is also perhaps to avoid risk of spontaneous combustion in the belly of a live specimen. However, one should still treat a fiery blowhole with great care even after its life functions have ceased. <laughs> I'm sorry, but also, the very box so basically, it's a walking flamethrower. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, hello. So these I'm are- I'm this whisker pillar. Oh, look, it's cute. It's they're, kind of cute. They're the uh, caterpillars that are eating my berries. Yeah, no, it's kind of cute. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I forgot Louie. Sorry. Roast this flavorful uh, beast for several hours, letting it stew in its own succulent juices. Don't worry about overcooking this beast. It's scorch proof. So, the rabbit all, all I'm gonna say though yeah. is you said, so, oh, I forgot Louis. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> so, the ravenous whisker pillar. Lepidotera pluckius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying these fake names. As the species of this insect has only recently been discovered, if we mature fully mature. <laughs> 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 fully mature specimens have yet to be collected. Fully mature. No, no. no, no molting or metamorphosis have been observed during the observation period, making it unlikely that mature whisker pillars will be encountered anytime soon. Based on the active predation by pigment, it is believed that the whisker pillar's place in the food chain has not changed over time. Delicious skillet seared or sautéed with scallions and a red Genovese sauce. The ivory candy pot bud. Oh, Chlorid Nivius. Research from our most recent exposition has confirmed the presence of candy pot buds in subterranean regions. Reasons? Yes, regions. Subterranean reasons! Considering the microecologies of. Ah! So, throwing it will produce white pigment. Oh, so 
In many cases, plants with small, small leaves typically have limited photosynthetic capabilities and thus must find alternate needs of attaining nutrients, with parasitic and predatory behavior being most common. The candy, the candy pop could be considered one such example. This elusive flower spoils within seconds of picking, making it unsuitable for cooking. Fuck you! This plant offers an excellent example of non-native species introduced into the ecosystem by some unknown method. Upon introduction, it quickly established a foothold and adapted to the new habitat. This plant's distinct fa flowers, flowers usually exhibit a stunning blue colour in early spring, but recent field work has recorded specimens displaying a deep red hue. Although this may represent a sudden deviation in genetics of the species, the red coloration is much more likely an anomaly. Additional readings suggest no significant atmospheric or solar radiation changes have occurred in the ecosystem, leaving open the possibility that soil composition and mineral deposits may have affected petal coloration. This titillating ingredient tastes impossibly fresh, but you must cook it immediately after picking. If you don't, it'll go bad within minutes. And then... F fiddlehead. Fiddlehead! Violinae orchestris fern family. At first glance, this plant resembles the spring used in the ship's sublight engine. Many of its most primitive characteristics remain intact, including its habit of stretching through. sorry, spreading through this dispersal of spores. Sun dry the leaves for several days, then grind them with a mortar and pestle. The resulting herb grants an aromatic, earthy flavour to mutton and poultry dishes. I still hate you, Louie. I still hate you, Louie. I still hate you, Louie. Here it is. Suck. The burrowing snagra, aka the snack bird. The snavy. Snavian family. Makes sense, the snake avian family. That's kind of clever. Uh, Shiropedes anaconti! <laughs> but this anaconda don't want none unless you got Pikmin, son. As seen. Disgusting. The majority of snagred species lie in wait to ambush and capture prey. With a body type perfectly adapted to such sudden strikes, it violently attacks small surface dwelling insects. Distributed across a relatively wide range, subspecies of snagret suited to the varying soil conditions have emerged, making the snagret the most geographically represented species besides the bulborb. Visually resembling the burrowing snagret is the burrowing snarrow, the range of which partially overlaps with the two snagret's range. While the two may appear similar when pulled from the ground, they can be distinguished by the presence or absence of tail and wing markings. Slice the serpentine torso into thin medallions, skewer on a metal rod with hocketate onions, and barbecue over an open flame. Let's see what Omar has to say about our treasures. Yes. Uh, so the toaster. This dubious morsel doesn't look like it would be very agreeable with my innards. However, I bet Louis would try a bite. His appetite is insatiable, but he's always cooking up tasty meals. I'm glad that on this expedition our ship's reactor can power our life support systems indefinitely. This will give us all the time we need to thoroughly examine all of the treasure we recover. I don't care if the president wants us to hurry. I've had enough of his hassling. I think I'll move more slowly just to cause him indigestion. <laughs> yes! You are a king among men, Holomar! Yes! Your nose is looking very sexy today now! The Petrified Heart. The vivid colour of this redstone reminds me of my wife's eyes when they burn with rage. <laughs> Just between you and me, I've noticed lately that she's been getting more wrinkles. Now that I think about it, I've probably caused her a lot of stress. When I return to Hocketate, 
I'll take her on a long vacation. Oh. No kids allowed. <laughs> All right. Oh shit. Uh, the super stick. I've once again discovered a completely undocumented species of Pikmin. This has nothing to do with the actual sticky dick. These, <laughs> these the <are> actual <laughs> sticky dick. <laughs> these the what? actual sticky dick. in here that, that I could live <laughs> that I could eat in a lifetime. <laughs> Louis, however, has eaten the whole thing already. Mystical symbols are engraved on many of the objects on this planet. Unfortunately, I am not able to read them thus far, but on this container here I can see the picture of a fish. I'm pretty sure this means oh no, I'm hungry again. Today I delivered an impromptu lecture on the basics of wilderness survival. As Louis Superior, it's my responsibility to teach him these things. Walking around as much as we do generates an intense thirst, so water becomes very important. I told Louis we have to ration our water carefully. That's what I was thinking until I found this. I was so parched that I couldn't help myself. I drank all the water in the canteen. It tasted so good. But when I turned around, Louis gave me a cold stare. I hate him. And then this. I'd love to lay down in the grass, bask in the sun and take an afternoon nap. But with all these pigmen following me, I can never seem to relax. I should remember to just fall asleep to and uh, dismiss the pigmen and then press and hold blur to take a nap. The last time I tried it, the pigmen picked me up while I slept and ca carried me away to the onion. Hold your space horses, pigmen. I'm not a pellet or a piece of treasure. Then I woke up. Great galaxies! It was all just a dream, wasn't it? Oh, actually, there is something that you don't know about, Dragon. There is a bad ending for Pikmin if you run out of time in the first game. If you run out of time, the Pikmin will take Olimar to the Onion and he will become a Pikmin Olimar. Yeah. There we go. That's uh, everything in the treasure hoard and um, pick media. The what? The treasure hoard? Did I call it the treasure hoard? The what? What? The treasure? Treasure! I'm so sorry. Who are you? I am your love. I'm not Fred. I'm not Freddie Jones Jr. Anywho. That's all we have time for for Pikmin. I get the feeling that the next one's going to be a bit shorter, but that's fine. What's not fine is me not getting my shit, but it's okay. Thank you for giving me back my shit, which is my sketchbook, but also the shit from the treasure. I hope you didn't doodle in it. All right, we're obviously going to have to head back into Awakening Wood to get our uh, globe back, but that's fine. Thank you all for watching this latest addition to our growing collection of varying games and reviews, just videos in general. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please leave a like and a comment in the comments section down below. We love hearing what you think. If you have any recommendations for either games to play or material to review, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to get to them when we can. If you like our content, subscribe to see more. Check out our playlists if you are looking for something new or worried you've missed an episode. Click on the recommended video appearing on the screen if you want to see more of us right now. You won't regret it, we swear. Subscribe to our Patreon to become one of our lovely beans today. However, if that is too expensive for you at this time, please consider a one-off donation on our Ko-fi. Help poor tea wench today. And with that, lime out. Dragon out. Bye!